I've decided to try and make a beehive that will stay drier and warmer during the winter. Normal Langstroth hives are made from 3 quarter inch wood, but I'll use cedar 2 by 6 as milled down to an inch and a quarter. I'm making finger jointed corners four at a time, which means I'm cutting through five inches of wood with a three quarter inch dado stack on my poor old craftsman table saw. After getting it all glued up, I decided I wanted to put a window in, and hopefully this will reduce the temptation to open the hive when it's too cold outside. The handles have already been routed in, so I make the window opening and glue a piece of Lexan in and then let it dry, peel off the plastic, and then we're off to the next job. And moving along, a screen frame goes on top of the top box. It's good for viewing from the top, and it's good for feeding during the off season. The top is a little different than the usual flat or peak roof. I need to shape it a little better, so I sand 45 degrees one way, then 45 the other way and crossways and lengthways and I do this over and over again until I'm satisfied with the uh, shape and then I continue on and do the same thing only with hand uh, sanding block which is a lot faster than an electric uh, finish sander and then finally I sand lengthwise with the grain to get all those scratches out. Now, some of this stuff I make up as I go along, and I decided I wanted to widen out the cracks in the boards and put in strips of contrasting black walnut, and dresses it up a little bit and was made from a few scraps I had around the shop. And after planing down the strips and wetting out the top to better see the scratches and imperfections, I do a quick finishing sanding one more time, and then it's time to lay some fiberglass on top. And most beehive tops have a piece of sheet metal over the top, uh, but this will be easier to apply to the rounded roof and it'll look great. And uh, here I made a rookie mistake laying the glass. I should have stretched the uh, cloth out by taping or pinning the corners first. And it has a memory and some of those folds and wrinkles slowly creep back after wetting the cloth out with resin. And I got lucky here. It wasn't too bad, but uh, guaranteed that won't happen again. Uh, Fiberglassing is done. We leave it overnight, come back the next day. Looks pretty good. Not too many wrinkles. And it's time to flip the roof over and we'll put some insulation in. And uh, we'll glue these sticks in place and put some staples in the end and, and uh, that'll hold them in place until the glue dries. And then it's a matter of uh, using uh, some kind of finish. I decided to try linseed oil. I haven't done that before so I linseed oil uh, outside of all the pieces real well. Let them sit outside for a few days and then it's the time for what we've been waiting for. We're going to take everything and we're going to replace the hive. And so we begin taking everything apart and uh, we take off the top and we take off the screen, the old screen, and take out the box full of frames with all the bees in it. And finally we get down to the bottom and we take off uh, the bottom board and replace it with a brand new shiny bottom board and already you can begin to see the bees kind of starting to fly around wondering why or where their house is gone and there's our our new box and we'll start transferring those frames over and we'll inspect the frames as we go one by one and uh, somewhere in there there should be a queen we'll look for the queen there actually is a queen here I'll show you a frame here goes by pretty quick. See if you can find a, a bee with a little white dot on it and uh, that's the queen. That's how we mark the queen so we can uh, find her easily. And we get that uh, all of, there we are right there. She's going around doing her job. And we get everything in place. Everything looks good. And then we're going to put that screen top back on which I take off later and put a thermometer on. I'll show you that in a bit. Uh, I want a thermometer for inside uh, monitoring. So I got that in place. Looks good. Put that beautiful roof on. And uh, it looks like a really upscale bee house. I'll probably have to charge more rent for these bees. And there they are. Either they're freaked out or they just can't wait to get in. I think they just can't wait to get in. 
And a couple things we want to do here. And uh, first of all, we got to test out that window. The bees are still getting used to their their new home, but we're going to test out the window. And uh, yeah, there's some bees in there. You can see some bees. It actually, looks a little better than I thought it was going to look. And it'll help to uh, reduce the temptation to take the roof off uh, during the winter. And I wanted to put a thermometer probe in, so I took a probe and put it onto the uh, screen, and then ran the wire outside. Here you can see the, the probe and the wire, and it goes right outside. And there you can see it's in Celsius. We'll have to learn how to deal with Celsius. Not a problem. And I'm already working on the next bee box. And I probably wouldn't go to this much trouble if I was building a lot of beehives, but I'm hoping it'll do what I need it to do. Uh, make a drier and warmer hive and improve the chances of bee survival for the next winter.